Hello everyone! As you can tell, I am pretty smiley here, and based off of the title, you can probably guess why, although there's a question mark up there for good reason. So, <laughs> as you know, I said in the video a while back that you could appeal as many copyright claims as you wanted to. Well, uh, you know, rejected copyright claim disputes. Like when you would dispute something, you could dispute as many of those as you wanted, but if your disputes got rejected, then you'd have to uh, do three appeals at a time at most, and well, that's been lifted. So I was able to do all my videos at once, and eventually I was able to get all of my videos copyright claim clear. Woo! <laughs> as you can see by that page that I popped up on the screen there, that there is nothing there. In fact, I couldn't get to that link from my dashboard because, well, what would happen is it, it's completely gone from my dashboard. I had to find the direct link from it uh, elsewhere uh, to actually show you that page, but yeah, it, they're gone. But are they really? I mean, that, that's that. this is where the question mark comes in, because even though that they definitely made an improvement on the copyright system here, it's it's still YouTube's copyright system. <laughs> you know, it's, you're never really truly free of the copyright system that they have here because of the automatic bogus content ID claims that could bombard you at any moment. There's, of course, the uh, people who can just file claims on your videos just to get them taken down to censor you or uh, just to troll you, whatever, basically. You know, it's, it, you're never truly clear of copyright on this website and that, so it's still a work in progress in that regard. Um, but, you know, it, it's a lot less risky, I guess you could say, because you, because you can appeal as much as you want to, even if they re reject your, uh, disputes. Uh, now as for like future stuff, like, you know how people, would say, now this is like an example I'm giving you here, like you know how people would ask me uh, to do Pikmin 3 walkthrough now that this whole appeal system seems to be fixed? Well, it all depends how I'm feeling on a particular day. <laughs> like, um, I, I know I've given different answers to this sort of question different times, but that it, it it all depends on what I'm thinking about that current day, I guess you could say. Like, for instance, uh, you know when I put that Pikmin 3 random gameplay video up, that video alone got three copyright claims on it from Nintendo. Yeah, a single video can get multiple copyright claims. I've had a new Super Mario Brothers U video that had five claims on it actually, but anyway, this is this is Pikmin 3 here we're, <laughs> we're talking about here. So basically videos can have multiple copyright claims and every every one of those claims that I have to dispute, it would be a, a lot of form filling out and it's very annoying and time consuming and yeah, so some days when I answer that question, I'm like, yeah, I'll probably go for Pikmin 3 is, yeah, I can appeal as many things as I want now and I'll eventually get the claims off the videos as time goes on. But then on other days when I'm not feeling up to doing that sort of thing, I give the answer of, well, I, I don't know. <laughs> because <laughs> Pikmin 3 would cause me more ire in the copyright fiasco, as would, you know, other modern type Nintendo games that are in their content ID system and stuff like that. So, as I said, it all, the, why I've been giving different answers on that particular thing is because I haven't really decided on anything yet, I guess. <laughs> because, it, it, like, do you, I mean, like, if you were in my position, would you really want to go through making, say, I don't know, 30 to 40 videos and then having three claims on each of those videos, and then you have to fill out a form for each of those claims eventually, and, and you know, and who knows if Nintendo's going to change their copyright stuff and give me strikes or something like that in the future too. So, as I said, you're not really ever free of copyright on YouTube, because YouTube is still YouTube, and they allow people who abuse the copyright system to roam free, which is... Definitely got to be changed one of these days. I mean, they could put on as many claims as they want to on my videos, 
and I could dispute as many claims as I want to on my videos, but they would never get a strike for putting bogus copyright claims on my videos, but I could get strikes for disputing or appealing their copyright claims. So it's still a very lopsided system overall, but for the most part, I guess you could say progress is being made because Nintendo isn't really giving people strikes unless that they are uploading something that they don't really approve of, like, you know, the whole ROM hack thing that they were doing lately where they were taking down ROM hack videos and issuing strikes of people who, who are doing ROM hack videos because I don't know, really. <laughs> I mean, I, I just don't understand the what goes through their head sometimes, you know, the lawyer's head or legal team, whatever you want to call it in, in Nintendo's head. Or... So it, it's really up in the air about what you can really do. And, you, do, you know, there's not really any sort of clear indication what will happen if you do something. So generally, I've been avoiding doing more of the modern stuff because of that. But I'll probably get the itch to do more modern stuff because, you know, I... I'm a gamer and I, I play games of all eras. So it's just, it's just something that I do eventually, I guess. But, uh, you know, there's a risk involved with doing that. And there shouldn't be a risk involved with that because YouTube doesn't have to have such a system in place. I mean, yes, I know laws with them being the middleman and all, they have to have some sort of copyright system in place for companies to be able to take down stuff. But, they don't need to have a three strike system, as I explained before. There's, there's no, there's no laws that say, hey, yeah, if, if you and someone else disagree about the usage of copyright, yeah, you could get a strike. Yeah, there, there's nothing like that in the laws. <laughs> so, and you know, if you get three strikes, your channel would go down. You know, it would be temporarily, of course, because I could appeal as many things as I wanted, but that, it's just inconvenient for everyone because people, would have to wait, I don't know, probably like upwards of two weeks or so for me to get my channel back up. And yeah, that would be videos that people couldn't be watching in that time that they would want to be watching. And in the meantime, if they're not looking at my Facebook or Tumblr or something for updates, they're going to be like, what happened to PK Gam? He's gone! Because you know, <laughs> I wouldn't have any sort of outlet on YouTube to be able to say anything because... You know, it would it would look like that my channel has been terminated completely because of the whole bogus copyright thing, if that should happen. But Nintendo, for the most part, doesn't seem to be giving copyright claims to people who are just making regular videos. Like, they aren't making any sort of TAS videos, you know, tool-assisted speedruns or ROM hack video type things. You know, anything that's, I guess you could say, modded, they aren't... um I mean, excuse me, everything that's modded, they, they could give you an, a, a, an attack on or something like that. Not that you couldn't dispute it, of course, still, but those are the things that they only seem to be really giving you strikes on. Um, but, you know, since I don't generally do that, I mean, yeah, I did uh, a couple of ROM hacks, but they didn't seem to take notice of them for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> it seems like they're only doing specific targets, maybe to, I don't know, make an example out of people, like... Um, you know, when you, when you go after one, it, it scares others into not doing it because then they think, well, my, my channel could be nuked because of this. Well, you know, if, <laughs> well, since I already got them up, so I, I guess, you know, they, they are already technically a target. Might as well leave them up and <laughs> deal with them as they come, if they ever do come and, you know, just continue on that path. Uh, you know, like by doing more ROM hacks, I've still got to do the second reality project reloaded too. Uh, that's a, a whole other thing. I haven't really gone into, you know, like the the comparison type things that I was doing on uh, the the first second reality project reloaded, and yeah, because yeah, I don't know the second one like I do the first one, so I'm I'm just kind of refreshing myself on it gradually, I guess you could say. But uh, yeah, uh, so as for the like future more modern video type things, I guess. You could, I guess they would in, in a way, sort of kind of fall under the whole ROM hack risk because, 
you know, when, when you have something that they could claim and then they put videos into the content ID system and, well, stuff that's working out now may not work out in the future. <laughs> so, yeah, as I said, why I give my, a different answer depending on is just because I'm not really sure, I guess. It's just, I'm, I don't know really what I should be doing in that regard. I mean, yeah, I, I could put up uh, more ROM hack videos and I could put up more, I mean, I could put up more, yeah, more modern video games and stuff like that, but <sighs> those are the ones that they seem to be claiming for the most part generally. And again, it just, I don't know if it's really worth all that hassle. I mean, maybe if I had some sort of other site to put them on other than YouTube or something like that, like I was looking into uh, VidMe for quite a while, which I made an account on. Uh, but, you know, I haven't really posted anything to that yet. I just kind of made an account to scout out the place, and I've been watching that for a while, and it does seem to be a good YouTube alternative for uh, stuff like that, or maybe even to move from YouTube because YouTube is, well, kind of a bad site <laughs> for for many reasons, like the copyright system and all sorts of stuff that I was... Uh, explaining throughout this video and yeah <laughs> there's even more issues beyond that like the the glitches and the, the terrible way the comments are working out and that sometimes you can't even reply to someone because of a, gl a glitch happening or sometimes comments randomly disappear and sometimes comments aren't counted on the video page you can't tell if a video's got comments or not it's just yeah, <laughs> YouTube's got a lot of issues, and ideally, YouTube isn't really the best platform probably anymore, uh, at least in comparison to Vidme, but, you know, Vidme uh, is just kind of a up-and-coming sort of thing, so it so it's kind of, you know, untested, I guess you could say. <laughs> Vidme sure looks like it has promise, but I don't know how things will actually turn out with it is what I'm saying. So I'll I'll keep a watch on that. But anyway, I think I've been rambling on long enough about this. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.